Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Tries Coffee. Today, we're going to be doing Folgers Classic Roast Coffee. Here we go. Um, oh, we gotta wait, okay. As you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm at my parents' house because my cousin got married. Um, for those of you that are my childhood friends watching this, I don't have time to come visit. I'm going to be here less than 24 hours. So, um, whoops. But, yeah, it was nice. Nice wedding. Nice to see everybody. Uh, my tummy hurt, but I was really brave about it. So, yeah. Our options for coffee were uh, Duncan, Maxwell, which I've both done these, and Folgers. So, I'm definitely going to take the Duncan home with me, but we'll see if the Folgers uh is any good. I think it's actually almost ready. Nope, never mind. Featuring the oldest toaster known to man. And boy howdy, am I gonna eat the shit out of that bread. We also have the Amish decorations. But we aren't Amish, which might be a shock to everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to Casey's bread review. You can see it didn't toast it super hard, but I also had it on one. So let's see how it is. hot bread so i'm gonna give that one a three out of four grains all right let's see please don't break all right here's what we're working with it's cooled down sufficiently and i have creamer ready let's give it a shot wow that's really bitter Okay, yeah, it needs cream. All right, here's our final product. I didn't make as much this time because uh, I got to sleep in today for once. So, very exciting. I'm not as tired. You got married in the last 24 hours? Here's to you. Yeah, the creamer definitely saves it. I would not recommend Folgers. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe it's just the pod. Maybe it's a Keurig machine. Could be a lot of things. So I'm going to give the coffee itself a 3 out of 10. And with the creamer, 4 out of 10. Not that great.